Hey, this is Marty Stepniak, Senior Writer for Hospitals and Health Networks, reporting from the 17th Annual Not-for-Profit Healthcare Investors Conference, and I am joined today by Rick Pollack, President and CEO of the American Hospital Association. Rick, thanks so much for being with me today. Good with you. Just for starters, what's the pulse of the room been like, and what's the dialogue been like between the hospital and investor community? Well, obviously the hospital uh, community wants to be sharing with the investor community what their priorities are as we move to the future, what their strategies are as we move to the future. And um, I think that the investor community has uh, traditionally learned a lot from these meetings as it relates to the different strategies that are people are employing. And of course, every market is different, every community is different and while there are some common themes around what people are doing to drive innovation and to um, drive value um, a lot of different strategies that are emerging mm -hmm. you talked yesterday in your opening remarks about the three big factors that are driving change for hospitals could you relate those to us sure there are several um, uh, and you know that you could say three that you can say five the ones that I uh, highlighted in particular uh, was the fact that so much of spending in healthcare in the future is really going to be on managing chronic conditions and that 85% of all spending across all settings is going to be managing people with chronic conditions and that is a change uh, as opposed to the focus on uh, you know uh, procedures and uh, a focus on the inpatient setting you know we'll always be providing care in the inpatient setting but fact of the matter is a lot of dollars being consumed in other settings as well on chronic care patients that have multiple conditions um, and require coordinated care. Um, the second big trend of course is the aging of the population and that's something we don't have much control over but you know a lot more people are living well into their 80s and no matter how you look at it they're going to be consuming more health care. And then the third trend of course is the trend around consumerism in health care uh, which is a new part of the quality equation. Uh, you know, quality and clinical competence is one thing, but the patient experience and uh, the need to provide care in more convenient ways is the other shift that I talked about and shared with folks. And I think what we've seen throughout the conference is how different hospital systems are trying to adjust to these trends and uh, capture the opportunities associated with them. Mm -hmm. We've heard a lot about partnerships these two days. Why is collaboration so crucial to the hospital field, even for the largest, most successful uh Players. Well, you know, a lot of people uh, feel as if there's other expertise that they don't have to create, that they can um, uh, benefit from through collaborative relationships as opposed to um, acquiring them on their own. The other thing that we tend to see is that when we look toward the future and we look toward opportunities to coordinate care and take risk for managing uh, the lives across the whole uh, continuum, uh, you know, the, the sweet spot, the expertise of uh, hospitals hospitals and health systems and physicians has really been managing the clinical enterprise. Uh, what has traditionally not been one of our core competencies is managing risk. So that's why you see a lot of different partnerships developing, uh, some including, uh, and not limited to, but certainly including insurers, uh, because there's where they have an expertise that's different from ours. And those types of collaborative arrangements are ones that I think a lot of people are looking toward. Mm -hmm. Just other than the need to partner, any other key takeaways f for you from uh, the conference? I, I just think, the, you know, the key takeaway is that uh, a lot of focus on innovation and a lot of focus on trying to deal with um, all aspects of the system beyond just the inpatient setting. And uh, while we are always going to provide trauma care and we're always going to provide sophisticated surgeries and we're always going to provide uh, advanced diagnostics and therapies that occur inside our buildings, uh, what we're seeing really is that hospitals are more than just buildings and they're providing care in so many other different settings in collaboration with a whole variety of other providers. That's, that's the core theme. Great. Rick, thanks so much for being with me today. Sure. My pleasure. For HNHN, this has been Marty Stepniak. Thanks for watching.